Hey, Queen of San Joaquin here. I'm an automotive technician and I've been one for the last 12 years. I wanted to do this video to tell you women what you need to be keeping in your cars on a daily basis. So this is a list I compiled of basic tools every woman should carry in their car. Always keep some hair ties handy in your car. Let's face it ladies, we love our long flowing locks, but they can become a safety hazard very quickly. It can get in your eyes, it can get in your mouth. It can also get caught in moving parts of the engine. And have you ever had your hair get caught in something like this? Or maybe uh, the window or a door? Enough said, put your hair up. Now that my hair's up and not, you know, gonna get caught in anything, let's move on to the next basic tool you're gonna need to have in your car. All right, this is a pretty obvious one, but you're gonna wanna keep your spare tire with you in case you get a flat tire. And make sure that your spare tire is aired up to the proper PSI. It should say on the tire, what to air it up to, and it says inflate to 60 PSI. And you wanna, you're gonna wanna check this every once in a while just to make sure it doesn't have a slow leak or it's flat, because the worst thing that could happen is you go to change your flat tire and put your flat spare on there, then you're really screwed. Keep a tire pressure gauge in your car in case you need to check your tire's air pressure or the air pressure in your spare. Loosening the lug nuts or lug bolts on your tire is impossible with your bare hands. So always keep your lug wrench with you in case you need to change a tire and loosen and tighten your lug nuts and lug bolts. Ugh. Wow, that's much better. Keep a jack in your car. You don't have to have a big fancy jack like this. Most jacks actually uh, come with your car along with the spare kit. Um, just make sure that the handle is there and make sure it's also in working order. Now if you have to go and buy a jack like this hydraulic jack or just a scissor jack, make sure it's going to fit under your car when you have a flat tire because that's a huge problem. Some, some jacks are a little bit too high to get under there uh, to jack your car up properly. So just make sure it's gonna fit under there when your tire is flat. This is a jack stand. It can save your life. They come in pairs and you use them to support your jack when you jack your vehicle up. If you don't use one of these and the jack fails, you can lose your life or a limb and that's just stupid. Some people say, oh, you don't need one. Oh, you know, whatever with a scissor jack and whatnot. No, oh, blah, 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 blah. You can just put the tire under there. And you know, that's great and everything. But those are the people that are going to get messed up by the car falling on them. And I've known people that cars have fallen on. Okay, a car is really, really heavy. Never rely on a jack by itself. I don't care what anyone tells you. Don't listen to them. Don't get under a car without a jack stand. An essential tool to keep in your car is a pair of working jumper cables. How many times has this happened to you? You leave your headlights on, the battery's dead. You're like, crap. Someone comes up and says, hey, do you need help? Yeah, my battery died. And they're like, well, do you have any jumper cables? You're like, no. Do you? No. Keep a basic toolkit in your car. It should consist of some standard and metric sockets, your ratchet, 
some needle nose pliers with wire cutters, a long and short extension, a universal joint, a Phillips head and flathead screwdriver, some vice grips, so an adjustable wrench, otherwise known by its brand name as a crescent wrench, and a pair of channel locks. This is all you really need. You can pick them up very cheap. You won't spend more than $50 on a basic toolkit, but they're really good to have in your car just in case you really need a 10 millimeter socket. Ah! Don't have one. Well, now you do. Always keep water in your car. Extra water. If you can't fit two gallons, which is what I recommend in your car, at least a gallon, no less. This can come in really handy for several reasons. One, your car overheats. It needs water. You're nowhere near a place to get water. Boom, got water. Let's say you break down and it's extremely hot outside. Water. Okay, this can save your life. It can save your car's life. You can get where you're going. Like I said, you can use this also too, like for so many other things, like rinsing your hands off. Let's say you got a gross bug on the windshield you need to get rid of and you don't got any, you know, window wiper fluid so you can, you know, just buff it out a little. Anyway, so many uses for water, but do not leave the house without water in your car. Always keep a flashlight in your car. This helps in case you break down at night or you need to just look for something at night. Uh, I recommend getting the square type because you can sit it down and it stays relatively level instead of the round ones which can roll all over the place and you know you can't get a steady light on something. So these are good. You can sit them level like this. You can prop them up with something or you can sit them on the back like this and in case you get, need to get under the car this will provide that nice stable light when you're under there. So, this can be your best friend in a dark situation. This is an emergency hammer with a seat belt cutter built into the handle. This unfortunately is a tool that many people find out they need when it's much, much too late to save their lives. It's designed with two pointed hammer tips to shatter your window in the event that you become trapped in a vehicle. When a vehicle is submerged in water or the batteries hit in an accident, the power windows and power door locks can fail. Also, if you're in a crash where your door is jammed shut, there's no way you can open it anyway. It also has a seatbelt cutter. So in the event that your seatbelt becomes jammed, you can slice it open with this knife, which is like a razor blade. Do not ever, ever leave this in the trunk. How are you going to get from the cabin of your vehicle to your trunk if you're trapped inside of your car? Always keep this in the car. It comes with a mount, so you can mount it in a highly visible area, such as here. I keep mine in the glove compartment. That's also suitable. Just remember, keep it in your car. It can save your life. You're going to want to carry extra medications with you. I'm sure if you have a serious illness or disease that requires consistent medication, you're already doing that. But you know, in some cases, like let's say you need to take your medicine at five in the afternoon and you break down at four. Help may not arrive by the time you're able to take your medication that you left at home. So it's always a good idea to have that with you. And also for us ladies, it's a good idea to have some extra feminine hygiene products. A gas can is an essential tool to keep in your car in case you run out of gas. It's really hard to transport gas from a gas station to your car in your hands. 
keep a funnel and some extra oil and fluids in your car just in case you need to top off your fluids you've got this nice funnel make sure you get one that has a small end so it can fit into all of the fill holes of your various fluids keep a small tarp in your car this can be handy for so many different reasons um you can put it on the ground to protect yourself from the ground if it's muddy or just nasty and you don't want to get yourself all dirty, you know, you can put it under the car in case you got to crawl under there so you don't get a bunch of crap in your hair, or your clothes. Um, you can also use it to shield yourself from the rain should you need to change a tire or do something else in the rain. You know, you can put this over you. It kind of turns into an emergency poncho. Um, you can also shield yourself from the heat. You can put this over your car window to create some artificial shade, you know, just in case it might be hot where you're sitting there waiting for help. So, yeah, great tool to have. Keep some gloves in your car. I like these vinyl gloves. Um, they're fairly cheap, but, you know, ladies, you've got some beautiful manicures that are really expensive, and you don't want to ruin them changing a tire. So just put a pair of these on. They're a lot better than some thick rubber gloves or thick mechanic gloves because you can feel through them a lot better. So that's why I like these. I personally don't wear gloves because I can't stand them, but I know you guys pay a lot of money for those nice nails and you don't want to ruin them just because you have to change a flat tire. Another good tool to have with you in your car is pepper spray or a stun gun, if you'd rather have a stun gun. Um, I like pepper spray though because it's for long distances. And this, the reason you need to carry this is because not everyone that you come in contact with that might you know, pull over to help you on the side of the road is gonna be friendly and you wanna protect yourself. You know, you should be protecting yourself anyway. You should be carrying this with you anyway. It's a good idea to keep this in your purse not necessarily just in the car. That way you can have the safety with you wherever you go. It comes in this nice pink container that looks like perfume. So you're like, hey, wanna smell my fucking perfume? Another basic tool to carry in your car, or rather in this case, on your car, is a hide -a key It's a simple plastic box with a magnetic back and it slides open so you can put your spare door key in there. Slide it shut. Find a nice contact point for your magnets, maybe up in your wheel well, maybe behind your frame. Just make sure it's secure and make sure that you don't do this in public. Keep it a secret where your hide a key is because it could cause the potential for someone to break into your car if they see where you put it. Keep some paper towels or some old wash cloths or even an old t-shirt just so you can clean up. You know, if you get grease on your arms and stuff, this is purely just to clean up. But hey, you know, sometimes you need to clean up and it's not because you've been working on a car. Keep a phone car charger with you in the car all the time. You know, um, you might break down and it's not a battery related issue and your phone's dead. What are you going to do? Just plug it in and charge it. Also, if you're in an area without cell service, which, you know, sometimes it happens, don't be afraid to call the emergency number. And a, you know, a policeman or someone can help you. If you really feel like you're in a dangerous situation, you know, don't be afraid to call 911 or another emergency respond number. It can be a lifesaver as well. So always carry one of these. Always keep some comfortable closed toed shoes with you and socks. You should never work on a car with open-toed shoes or high heels. It's just unsafe. And plus, these torture devices aren't going to get you very far when you have to walk a mile to the gas station. 
Always keep an extra sweater and a blanket. Just a small throw blanket, nothing special in your car, just in case it's cold and you break down and it's nighttime and you're like, man, I'm chilly. Wish I had that blanket. Well, now you have it. Always keep some kind of snack in your car. Just make sure that it's not perishable or heat sensitive like chocolate. Um, I've got some chips, sunflower seeds, a nutritional shake, um, or you can go with a granola bar or something just in case you break down and you're hungry and you know, help ain't coming for a while. You got a little something to snack on and keep your blood sugar up. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it very informative. Um, if you can think of anything that I haven't included on the list, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And if you have any other tips or suggestions for women um, and what they should carry in their cars, also leave that in the comments. Um, like, subscribe, or be a free spirit. Don't do anything and go to the next video. Bye!